Good afternoon, Year 2. Here is your second maths lesson for today. So it's now time for your arithmetic practice. Now, in today's arithmetic practice, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be practicing your division and your multiplication skills because we've been doing lots and lots of work on that recently. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to practice your twos, threes, fives and tens. OK. Now, don't forget that multiplication and division are related. Think about that relationship between those numbers. We've been doing lots of work on that recently, OK? So, for example, if you've got a question that says 8 divided by 2 and you're looking for what that equals, you could count in your twos using your fingers and you will know what the answer is by the amount of fingers that you're holding up. Let's have a practice of that one now, OK? So 8 divided by 2. Let's count in our 2s until we get to 8. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. OK, so as you can see, I'm holding up 1, 2, 3, 4 fingers there. And I've pinched those 4 fingers as I've said my 2 times tables. So I know that 8 divided by 2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. OK, so see if you can use this technique when you are working through your uh, multiplication and division in your arithmetic test today. OK, because it's that relationship between those numbers and the multiplication and division as well, the operation. You can also use a separate piece of paper to do some of your working out if you need to. So you might want to draw it out. You might want to you might want to in the same example using eight divided by two. You might want to um, have a piece of paper and you might want to do two groups and share them. Or you might want to group them into twos. You might want to draw eight things out and group them into twos. We've been doing lots of practicing on that. So if you want to do that, if you feel comfortable doing that, then you can. Also, it might be really, really handy to practice your twos, threes, fives and ten times tables before you complete this task. OK, now there are lots of videos available on YouTube and when we're in the classroom, we usually play the number jacks, don't we? We play the number jack songs to help us to learn our times tables because it goes through them slowly at first. And then it gets faster and faster each time. And I know that, that those songs get stuck into my head. So I know that they're probably going to get stuck in yours as well. So it's really important for you to have a little practice of your twos, threes, fives and tens before you complete the activity as well. And this is what your arithmetic practice looks like for today. So you've got 20 questions. And they are a good mix of multiplication and division. If there are any that you're unsure of, then please don't worry. All you have to do is leave it blank. Um, and also don't forget to try to complete this independently. And then you can send it to your class teacher whenever it is finished. OK, also another top tip for you, which we did practice when we were back at school. Remember, when we're timesing a number by zero, it always ends in zero. OK, so that's just a top tip for you there. And another top tip while we're on it. Thompson's top tips tonight, isn't it? OK, another top tip for you is if you are timesing something by the number 11, then we know that it just becomes a double number at the end, doesn't it? So we just have, say, for example, you're timesing the number 6 by 11. The answer will be 66. If your times in 7 by 11, the answer will be 77. If your times in 4 by the number 11, you guessed it, it'll be 44. OK, so I hope you can see that pattern there too. OK, so Thompson's top tips for you. So you can now access the worksheet and you can get started with your independent task. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you got on with the activity. And also, don't forget to try to keep uh, try to complete it as independently as you can and send your work to your class teacher. 
Bye-bye for now, everybody.